Hello friends, let us start with the next topic that is post breakdown phenomenon and its applications. To understand this post breakdown phenomenon, I am again considering the same diagram which we considered in previous lecture. So there are two electrodes these two electrodes are connected with the DC supply. Let us say 1 and 2. Electrode 1, as it is connected to negative of the DC supply, so attains cathode, attains negative polarity and hence called as cathode. Whereas another electrode attains positive polarity and hence represented as anode. So negative of the DC supply is connected to the electrode called cathode and positive of the DC supply is connected to the electrode called anode. This is the supply voltage connected between the electrodes. Now these electrodes are separated by a distance D but contains the electric field. That electric field is represented with the dark dotted lines. Now, due to the application of the voltage, the ionization process takes place. And ionization is nothing but the bridging the gap between the electrodes by the electron and protons that is positive ions avalanche. So this particular gap is filled with the ionization so that this ionization converts the insulating gas material into the conducting gas material. Now when this gas material conducts, the effect of that is called the post breakdown phenomenon. It means the gas breaks down. The breakdown of gas insulating material takes place and that phenomenon is called as post breakdown phenomenon. The reasons for this post breakdown are first the ionization process, I am representing it as IP. Second, temperature rise in between the gap and that tends to heat formation between the contacts of the electrode. And this heat is basically due to the friction during collision and the bombardment. That is primary ionization and secondary ionization. So this process of the application of voltage till the conduction of the gap and post breakdown that is due to the ionization and the rising temperature basically have the post breakdown phenomenon. Let us understand that post breakdown phenomenon with this flow chart, we have the characteristics to understand which is plotted in between the DC voltage which is applied and the DC current which is between with the current that is in terms of electrons which are present in between cathode and anode. And that current equation is already shown and derived in previous lectures under primary ionization and secondary ionization. So on y-axis, we have a DC applied voltage and on x-axis, we have a DC applied current. That is DC current which is generated between the gap of the electrode. The voltage range which we are considering on y-axis is 0 to 50 500 volts and the current starts from 10 is to power minus 15, 10 is to power minus 12 up to 10 is to power 3 ampere that is up to 1000 ampere 
or 1 kilo ampere. Now, whenever the supply voltage is given of high value, high range, the Townsend's breakdown phenomenon takes place. But it is in dark. That post breakdown yet to appear. So the discharge takes place and that discharge it is represented from A to B with the dotted line. After point B as the ionization process say primary ionization and secondary ionization process starts hence this Townsend's dark phenomenon get converted into the glow discharge. Now when there is a glow discharge it means there is a formation of a high temperature which surrounds a part of the cathode. A part of the cathode. And this glow is nothing but the heat and a high current. A heat and high current. It means there is drop in voltage from this point takes place and this is called as transition from a Townsend's dark to the glow discharge. So therefore we have drop in voltage but current rises. Current rises. So whenever there is a glow formation the drop in voltage is almost constant from C to D. Then at one particular point that voltage gives a high voltage that is a spark and this voltage from D to E with small increasing current again drop down that voltage from E to G. So under this condition from D to E is called as abnormal glow that takes place due to rising or sudden rising current and this sudden rising current increases the sudden voltage by giving steep voltage and then that voltage drops again due to the arc which is formed between the electrodes. Now this arc formation it means the transition from glow to arc that is from the point E to G. So this arc formation follows the weaker path between the electrodes that is say between cathode and anode. Let us say between cathode C and anode A. So when it follows that when that spark or arc follows the weaker path between the two that forms an arc between the contacts of the electrodes. So this way the glow discharge it converted into an arc discharge. Now here we have two important regions. The first region that is before C, before point C, the breakdown is called as before breakdown. And from point C to point G is called as the post breakdown phenomenon. Point C to G is called as post breakdown phenomenon. So what we get in post breakdown phenomenon, we get two effects. The first effect is called as the formation of glow. That is the region indicated in the characteristics is from C to E and an arc formation in the characteristics that region is indicated by alphabets E to G. Now let us study these two effects one by one with their applications. So the first point 
for the discussion is glow discharge that is the region from c to e here the other region is also included for the comparison purpose so we have the post breakdown phenomenon that starts from point c to point e and point e to point g so this particular discharge is the diffused luminous glow that glow discharge is the diffused one which is luminous luminous means the light energy and this light energy is because of the friction during the collision and the bombardment so whatever the heat is developed that heat is nothing but the light energy during friction during collision and bombardment so therefore it is called as luminous the color of that luminous glow completely depends on the material of the cathode and the gas which is used in between the electrodes this particular glow as i said in previous slide it covers the partial section of the cathode partial section of the cathode it may be say on the upside or it may be on the lower side of the cathode then the space between the cathode and anode have the intermediate dark and bright regions so there is no compulsion that that glow only is on one of the cathode that may follow the path between cathode and anode now if the current is increased that is shown from point d to point e the glow becomes an abnormal glow where the current increases with sudden rise in voltage so therefore the glow discharge is called as abnormal glow during this glow discharge from point c to point e the voltage drop is almost constant that is 75 volt to 300 volt with the rising current from 1 milliampere to 100 milliampere so this is all about the glow discharge i just want to repeat those points as it has that glow discharge has the diffuse luminous glow luminous means the light energy which is developed due to the heat and heat is developed due to the friction due to the collision and the bombardment the luminous glow color completely depends on the material of the cathode and the gas which is used in between the electrodes this glow covers the partial section of the cathode and it is intermediate bright and dark region between cathode and anode not continuous if the current increases suddenly that gives the rise in voltage and therefore that is called as abnormal glow this particular voltage drop is almost constant from the range of 75 volt to 300 volt with a current range from 1 milliampere to 100 milliampere now let us understand the applications as this is the glow formation that glow discharge can be used in the cold cathode gaseous voltage stabilizer tubes which are also called as vr tubes that is also used for the rectification purpose then in the relaxation oscillator it can be used as a relaxation oscillator and it can be used as an amplifier that amplifies the signal now let us understand second discharge that is arc discharge again we are considering the same wave form from point c to e is also indicated in that and e to g is basically the arc discharge so this region is e to g for arc discharge here during this arc discharge the current increases from 1 ampere and more and the voltage drops now as this particular current 
is nothing but the short circuit current and this short circuit current and this short circuit current basically drops the voltage because of the increase in current value because of the increase in the current value so as current rises the voltage drops as current rises the voltage drops so this current increases to 1 ampere and the voltage drops to say 20 to 50 volt this particular region is again luminous but noisy and that noisy means we may have the like a corona effect so luminous means light energy and there is a sound which comes out from that and therefore we have the hum or effect can be audible that particular effect is audible so luminous means visible effect we, uh, we, we can say that this is visible effect and noisy means the effect is audible the current increases in between the two electrodes from the range of 1 kilo ampere to 10 mega ampere per centimeter square at the same time during friction due to collision and bombardment the temperature also increases from its normal say temperature of 1000 degree celsius to several thousand degree celsius this particular discharge contains a very high density of electrons and positive ions because now that particular gap is completely filled with the electrons and positive ions and therefore that arc is called as arc plasma so the density of those electrons and positive ions between the two electrodes is more and hence it is referred as arc plasma this study of the arc and its effect is very very important during the study of the circuit breakers and the other switches where the arc forms that is during connection and disconnection and there is a rising temperature and therefore we have the high intensity light source so high temperature and high intensity light source can be called to this arc discharge so based on that we have the application first welding and cutting of the metals when we have to cut the metals we can use it as a welding or maybe cutting then light source like in carbon arc lamps whenever we have that we get the arc formation between the gap of the filaments and that forms that can convert that arc into the light so that becomes the light source this high temperature plasma that can be used for the generation of electricity in magneto hydrodynamic that also can be used for the generation of electricity in nuclear fusion processes so guys these are the two discharges which are generally takes place in between the electrodes called as post breakdown phenomenon so this is what the post breakdown phenomenon with their applications that's all with this topic so thank you guys